Here is a nice overall sketch of a uterus uh, cut along its longitudinal axis. So you can see the uniform endometrial lining, the cervix, and the myometrium. These are lyomyomas. Lyomyomas are benign tumor proliferations of smooth muscle. The microscopic appearance of smooth muscle cells in a lyomyoma would be identical to what you would see if you took a little section through normal muscle. If the lyomyoma shows a bulging along the serosa, you can call it at least partly sub serosal. If the lyomyoma shows bulging of the endometrium, you can call it at least partly submucosal. If the lyomyoma is primarily within the myometrium, you could call it intramural. That's the classical definition anatomically. Uh, let's take a look at some, but before we do, I want to tell you that the chances of these things turning malignant are generally always said to be zilch. In other words, you know, one in 10,000. If you are one of the lucky people that are in that 999 out of 1,000, that's great because nobody would ever tell a woman that these are going to turn malignant. If you're not lucky, however, you are that one in 10,000 like my wife was, then of course, uh, all bets are off and it's a whole nother story. Let's take a look at this microscopically. Here is the endometrial aspect, as you could see. Here is stroma down here. Here is myometrium. And you could tell there's generally a bulging nodular part of the uh, myometrium that has this kind of a more of a circular or nodular configuration as compared to the uh, more linear uh, configuration of the smooth muscle cells in the non-lyomyoma part of the myometrium. Let's blow this up and let's see if my original statement stands true. Here is the lyomyoma. Here's the interface between the benign smooth muscle tumor and the rest of the myometrium. And uh, let's blow up a random area like this and just study for a second classical textbook normal smooth muscle. If you cut the smooth muscle along its longitudinal axis like this, they look like cigars, perhaps a little bit lumpy on the edge. If you cut the lyomyoma cells along their axis, transversely, they look like little circles. Here are some blood vessels. Here are some smooth muscle cells within the blood vessels. Here's some capillaries, as you can see, lining up in individual cells. And here is a little sheet of smooth muscle. I am now going to take a quick uh, and a couple random uh, views into the lyomyoma itself. And you will say, hey, at a high power point of view, this looks like identical smooth muscle. Well, it's supposed to. Here they are looking nice, nice little cigars. Perhaps over here, they may look like little round areas. If you did not know this was it within a lyomyoma, you would call it a routine normal section of the uh, myometrium. Uh, one last little caveat before we move on. When a lyomyoma turns malignant, it is then called a lyomyosarcoma. And there's a whole bunch of, as you know, features of cells which make them benign versus malignant. Atypia, pleomorphism, mitosis, blah, 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 blah. The single most important feature that differentiates these benign smooth muscle cells from malignant ones is number of mitoses, not pleomorphism, not hyperchromasia. It's mitoses. So generally, the way to differentiate benign from malignant smooth muscle tissue is to take a bunch of high power fields, count the mitoses, and uh, on the basis of that number, you could then uh, say whether it's benign or malignant. Thank you very much.